Hello everyone and welcome back to the Roman Man Show and today we're going to preview UFC 251 and we're going to three title fights and finally we've arrived on Fight Island where all the anticipation has been happening over the last few months where Dana White was going to have the uh, Fight Islands in Abu Dhabi and three title fights are on the line. We have Peter Yan versus Josie Aldo for the Bantamweight which was given up by uh, Henry Cejudo who retired. The featherweight is the co-main event. We have Alexander Volkanovski versus Max Holloway. And in the main event, Gilbert Burns was supposed to be in the main. We had to pull out. So we have Camaro Usman, the champion, versus Jorge Masvidal, the BMF belt champion. Peter Yan versus Jose Aldo. The last first time I ever seen Peter Yan was his last fight against Uriah Faber. And for the first round, I was like, mm, not very impressed with this. What's it, like? He's just kind of keeping his range. But then once it got to the second round, I was like, damn, he was just playing with Uriah Faber. He wasn't even, he, he knew he could beat him. He was just toying with him, wanted to give himself a little bit of a show and saying, yeah, I already have you down. And I was like, wow, he already knew. He knew. He already knew that he was beating him. He already knew he had his timing down. He just didn't give it up in the first round. So Pete Yan's a very, very great striker from Russia. And he's against the king of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. And that's Jose Aldo, former featherweight champion. I think he got the belt back twice, or was it three times? Been around for ages. It's been around since the featherweight division, the flyweight division's been around. He's dropping down the bantamweight for the second time. He lost against Mauro Morales. People thought it was a very bad decision. He should have got the decision. So I think that's why he's getting the title shot first. And that division's getting stacked, stacked already now with um, Sterling. <coughs> Coney Nolo, Sean O'Malley, like a lot of up and comers, a lot of people now getting redemption back and then TJ Dillashaw will be back in the Bantamweight division next year. But this is going to be a really, really good striker versus striker bout. Uh, who do I have? Peter Yan has 14 wins, 1 loss. Josie Aldo's 28 wins, 6 loss. So his experience against uh, the rookie, really, in the MMA uh, background. So it's going to be a really, really good fight, and I hope. Hmm, who do I hope? I don't know, I'd like someone different, you know. I don't really want uh, Josie Allo to have another title again because when he was in Fedaway, he just defended once or twice every once a year. So I would like to see Peter, Peter Yan win it, something different, something new, and see how the division goes there. Then in the co-main event, Alexander Volkanovski versus Max Holloway. Volkanovski defending his flyweight title for the first time against the guy who he defeated in Max Holloway. It was a great back and forth battle the last time the fight went the distance. Uh, Max Holloway, you already know who he is. Max Bless Holloway, it is what it is. And it's going to be an unbelievable fight. Uh, it can go either way, you know. You can't even predict which way it's going to go. Both of them aren't going to really go for the ground, they're both going to stand up again. Volkanovski used to weigh nearly 212 pounds when he used to play rugby and now he fights at 145 so It's gonna be an amazing fight. It's an amazing card all round together. Like I can't believe it like three title fights That's when you want and that's when you know it's a really good card and it's not three dud title fights three unbelievable fights and that's the second fight on the card my I'm gonna go with the boy Max Bless Holloway. I always liked him as a person. I love his YouTube channel as well Love the way he's doing something different outside of the octagon. I think a lot of people need to be. A lot of people are seeing that now. You know, you, you don't have to. You can make your money elsewhere. Uh, but I'm going with Max. I always really liked Max. Max Holloway, even when after McGregor, he lost to McGregor. He followed his career at that. The Dustin Point, and he went on an absolute tear. And now he's the challenger. Now it's been very different. He's been the champion for so long. Defeats all the greats nearly. Jose Aldo twice. Frankie Edgar. Uh, duh, 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 duh. Uh, Anthony Pettis, uh, Brian Ortega. The only person now is Alex Van der Volkanovski and Volkanovski is better. Josie Aldo as well. So it's going to be a really, really good fight. That's another, like you have to say, you can't even hype these fights up. They're already hyped up as it is. And then the main event of the evening Camaro Usman versus Jorge Masvidal. It's supposed to be Gilbert Burns, the company man, because. Masvidal in negotiation with the UFC fell through because he wants to be he knows what he's worth and that's what he wants to get he wants to get the money that he's worth for Kamar Rusman been absolutely dominant he was only lost one one loss in his career that was early on now he's on an absolute tear defeated Tyron Woodley defeated Kofi Covington he's supposed to be going up against his training partner Gilbert Burns but that fell through and now it's Jorge Masvidal which is going to be a great fight 
If it goes to the round, you'd have to give it to Kamara Usman with his wrestling pedigree. is unbelievable. Great takedown defense and taking people down. Uh, and Jorge Masvidal, great uh, takedown defense. You ever see that video of him and uh, Kobe Cummington wrestling for like, uh, I think it was like nearly six, uh, half an hour just full on wrestling, going and going. So you know he has the stamina to keep it up. Uh, in the striking thing, I in the striking I would go with Jorge Masvidal. I think he's a bit crisper striker than uh, Kamara Usman, but I think it's going to be a feeling out process for the first round. Maybe Kamara's going to get a few shots and see can he actually stand a strike with him. But I think Usman's going to go for the ground because his ground and pound is devastating. He can knock you even in his ground and pound. Like the BMF belt is not on the line; it's only the welterweight. So imagine if you had Masvidal. BMF champion, welterweight champion. The amount of um, negotiation power we'd have there. Then, if you're going into another neg negotiation, he has two titles now. You can't really. You have to. You're gonna have to give him the money what he's worth. Then, Kamara Usman who wins this. I think the next fight would be with Gilbert Burns, because he was supposed to get the title fight now. But wow, if you ever want to for Kamara Usman, go watch him versus Kobe Covington. That was an unbelievable fight. Uh, Think finish him in the fifth round or fourth round, and then for Jorge Masvidal, you can go back and watch him in the backyard brawls. That's how long Masvidal has been fighting. He's been fighting since even in the backyard, Kimbo Slice days. Uh, most recently, he's done the three second knockout of uh, Ben Askren with the flying knee. That's another fight you'd have to look back at and look at that. Uh, even look at him in the Darren Till fight, he get he got dropped in the in the first round and came back again and then finished the fight off in the second round, I think. So. Two fight, two fights you can look up there for Masvidal and for Usman. Even go back and watch the Tyron Woodley fight. Everyone thought Tyron Woodley was going to be champion for ages, but Kamara came along and destroyed that and made and showed uh, the difference between the two of them in the wrestling background as well. So three big, big, big fights out here. And I'll try and see Rose Namunuz versus Jessica Andrade as well. That's another great fight rematch when uh, Rose fought Jessica Andrade and Jessica Andrade's um. Suplex to the ground and knocked her out. Uh, I know a few fights fell through. Volskonovsky, light heavyweight. I cannot pronounce your man. He's fine, but he's another fight to look up. To have a look at when you're look at, if you're going through the prelims and the early prelims. Dun -dun -dun. That's really it, really for me for doing my preview for the card. So I'm gonna go for Peter Yan, Max Holloway, ah, and then the main. Jesus, oh my God. Uh, if I was gonna have to really, I like Masvidal by heart, but then Usman is going with my head, so that's one I'm gonna have to leave it up to everyone else to watch the fight and see who's gonna win. But my two ones, Max Holloway, because I just like Max Wally as a person, and then Peter Yan because I want something different in the UFC. So that is my preview for tonight's UFC on UFC. Do, 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 251 Fight Island and can't believe it's, this is going to happen. I want to thank you all for listening today and see you all in the next video. Bye bye.